Can you drink artificial sweeteners? Yes. Should you drink them in excess? No. Can you consume artificial sweeteners without negatively impacting your body? Yes. Can you negatively impact your body if you consume them in large amounts? Yes. Should you consume artificial sweeteners? All the pain. What's up everybody, Joseph Williams, AKA Jaws Fitness. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that notification bell. If you're not new to the channel, guys, I'm trying out a couple new things. Borrowed this chair. It's very weird and interesting. I'm also trying the AirPods out, see how they work with the audio. Please let me know in the comments if you like it. And if not, obviously, please let me know. Today, we're gonna to be talking about artificial sweeteners. I bring that up because this local company, uh, to where I am in Idaho, called Great Scots, they make these drinks called redneck sodas and moonshines. So a redneck soda is basically any of your favorite soda mixed in with some type of flavor shot. And their moonshines is your favorite soda, your favorite energy drink, and then some flavor shots. This little concoction right here that I made is Diet Mountain Dew, purple guava pear bang, sugar-free blueberry, sugar-free raspberry, and sugar-free vanilla. It's not bad. Um, it's not the worst thing I've ever tasted. It's probably way more caffeine than what I need in my day though. So I'm 11 days out from my show. Therefore, my carbs and my calories are extremely restricted. Therefore, I'm going with the diet route and the sugar-free route. Not that I wouldn't do that normally anyway, but I'm overemphasizing it right now. I was always told that artificial sweeteners are bad for you and that you shouldn't consume them, blah, blah, blah. In the past, I've seen some debate on the internet between um, Lane Norton and that one dude I don't remember his name, but yeah, anyway, talking about whether or not artificial sweeteners are okay, et cetera, et cetera. Just as a preface, guys, whenever you do something in excess, it's probably gonna be bad for you. Let's say you do caffeine in excess, you might have a heart attack. Let's say you do drugs in excess, you're gonna have an overdose. If you do um, anabolic steroids in excess, you're gonna shut your regular hormone production down. To an extent, not all of your hormones, calm down. There's, there's a limit to what your body can take with everything in life. So I want you to look at this in that same type of perspective. Anytime you go above and beyond with artificial sweeteners, you're going to have that same issue. I'm not going to pull any scientific articles in here. I'm just going to break down like this. Anytime you put artificial sweeteners in your body in an excess amount, you could, not will, you could eliminate some of the digestive bacteria in your intestines. So basically it's gonna be a whole heck of a lot harder for you to digest food properly, which could be why you see a lot of overweight and obese people drinking diet soda and yet they're still extremely large. Now, if you do it in moderation, you're not overdoing it, are you gonna kill or eliminate that bacteria? Most likely not. So does that mean everybody should be drinking diet soda in moderation? Well, if you're gonna drink it, then yeah, it should be in moderation. But that doesn't mean everybody should be drinking diet soda. That doesn't mean you should be drinking regular soda either because there is an extremely high sugar content in regular soda. So in my last semester of college, I took a biochemistry class. My professor was explaining to us excessive amounts of artificial sweeteners can eliminate some of those digestive bacteria in your intestines. The best way that you can reset that and help get some of that bacteria back is just a fast. Just do a 12 to 24 hour fast once or twice a week and it should help bring back those digestive bacteria in your intestines to where they should be. As with anything in life, guys, be smart. Don't overdo it. Do your research and of course, Play it safe, especially if you're concerned about your health and safety. Normally, I would love to go into more science and bring in some articles, but today, I'm just gonna leave it to you like this. Can you drink artificial sweeteners? Yes. Should you drink them in excess? No. Can you consume artificial sweeteners without negatively impacting your body? Yes. Can you negatively impact your body if you consume them in large amounts? Yes. Should you consume artificial sweeteners? Clearly, I do but that's a personal decision that I made for myself because I'm willing to weigh out the pros and cons and take the necessary means to do something in moderation 
that won't negatively impact my health later on down the road. Don't let me tell you how to live your life or anyone else on the internet for that matter. I hope you guys have a great day. If you like this video, like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.